C-Scope cable avoidance tools have four detection modes to select from. Each mode provides specific advantages, and any full survey should utilize all of these modes to offer the best chance of detecting as many metal pipes and cables as it is possible to detect. Theory of the radio mode When used in radio mode, C-Scope cable avoidance tools detect re-radiated radio-type signals originating from various RF frequency transmitters that flow through the ground and tend to follow the line of least resistance, such as a buried metallic pipe or cable. Not all pipes and cables will be detectable in radio mode, and it is not always possible to determine the exact identity of the metal pipe or cable from the radio signal alone. Please refer to the locator's instruction manual for further information on the limitations of the radio mode. Carrying out a radio mode search It is important to always carry out any search for buried metal pipes and cables in a methodical and organized manner, so that none are left undetected that could have been detected. The entire process is always broken down into three distinct stages. Searching for signals, pinpointing signals, tracing signal routes. Searching for signals. Select the radio mode using the mode selector switch and rotate the sensitivity control fully clockwise for maximum sensitivity. Press and hold the on-off trigger. The display will show the radio mode icon and battery condition indicator. Walk slowly from one side of the area to be surveyed to the other side, holding the locator perpendicular to the ground at all times. Ideally, the locator blade needs to be orientated at right angles to the metal pipes and cables to be detected, but it can cross at a lesser angle and still detect their signal. It is only if the blade is exactly parallel to the buried surface that it may not detect the radio signal. Take care not to swing the blade when scanning, but keep it close to your side, pointing directly down. The locator will give an audible and visible response when a radio signal is detected. Pinpointing signals When an area of signal has been detected, it is now necessary to pinpoint the exact location of the signal source. This is done by moving the locator all the way through the area of signal and carefully turning down the sensitivity setting of the locator to reduce this area of signal until a clear peak position is seen on the locator's display. The ideal position for this peak response would be approximately mid-scale on the display. Once a peak signal has been accurately pinpointed, mark the location. Tracing signal routes Carefully follow the signal by slicing the locator through the area of signal so that the peak response is clearly indicated. This is best done at a slow walking pace. Mark the position of the peak response very regularly to define the exact route the metal pipe or cable is taking. To search for radio signals present on metal pipes and cables positioned at right angles to the line of those already detected, it will be necessary to repeat this three-stage process, but this time crossing the survey area in the opposite direction. Please note that it is important to scan a site in all operating modes, not just the radio mode, to ensure a complete survey. For more information on our full range of cable avoidance tools, contact Seascope International or visit our website.